Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023. It is 1222 in the morning. Okay, this is gonna be... Let's see, where did I... This is going to be part one, Angels, Jack Graham, who they are, what they do, and why it matters. Part one, the wisdom of angels as you start the journey. The exploration of the mind of Christ is a journey to nowhere if the pilgrim is still handcuffed to the flesh. Brennan Manning spelled B-R-E-N-N-A-N, and Manning, like Peyton Manning, <sighs> and I forgot his brother's name, Eli, Eli Manning, I remembered, okay, one, forgiveness, when you sin, when you've sinned against God, as a teenager, my dream was to play professional baseball. I worked hard to develop my skills and, like many young men, to take things to the next level, the major leagues. All indications were that my childhood aspirations were becoming a reality as both college and professional scouts took an interest in my game. I was on my way, but God had another plan. One hot summer night in Fort Worth, Texas, I drove my car alone to my team's ball field at Eastern Hills High School. The stars truly are bright deep in the heart of Texas, and it, and it seemed all of them were shining on me that evening. Given how real God's presence was to me in those moments, that athletic field became something of a sanctuary. I wasn't in a church, but God came near that night. I was standing on holy ground. I didn't realize at the time that the Holy Spirit was at work in me, calling me, compelling me to a bigger and better dream. That night, standing on that ball field, I surrendered my life to do what God was calling me to do, become a preacher of the gospel. On my knees at the very place where I fielded hundreds and hundreds of ground balls, I gave myself unconditionally to know and do the will of God. I laid all my dreams and desires at the altar called second base. Unforgettable. From that evening forward, I had one ambition, and that was to pursue the calling God had given me that faith-fueled night. As it turned out, I still had opportunities to play baseball. In fact, baseball gave me a platform to preach as a young athlete and provided a scholarship to play in college during my four-year undergraduate studies. During my four-year undergraduate studies. I'm not sure I could have afforded college without that scholarship. Only God. I still love baseball and especially my Texas Rangers. But as I stepped confidently into the calling God had given me, I realized that nothing could compare with the satisfaction of serving him. That moment, that night, was a spiritual tipping point. I didn't hear the rustle of angel wings, but I certainly found myself at the throne of God and face to face with his sovereign rule. It was an Isaiah moment when I saw the Lord high and lifted up. See Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1. Okay, and that's all for part one of chapter one Angels, Jack Graham. The wisdom of angels as you start the journey. Thank you for watching.